before I head in, I wanted to see this uh, fish finder. Ah, there it is. Too bad I can't get it in there. So, with these new um, points, where's the fishing that I'm supposed to put in? Perfect power source. Uh, you're going to have to wait until you're in the game. And seeing as how I'm checking out the workshop, I figured I'd bounce around and check out the workshop. What workshop? The workshop. So. All the stuff. And all there is, the only thing I, that I can see anyways, the only thing new, new is the fish finder. And it's the same as the deep ore mining scanner. It's just a fish finder. Like it does the same thing. It's uh, And I can't <clears throat> bring it in, so. Oh, that's right. Because we've already started this one. I'm not leaving. <laughs> I might be able to bring my other guy in, though. Uh, before you start putting points in, you might want to come join me and we'll, we can chat about some points. Hey, everybody. Uh, two very tired players are going to attempt to uh, bring you the Galileo update. Uh, I already did a little bit of playing. Um, had a nap, <laughs> waited for my wife to come home and, uh, we're, uh, we're going to muddle our way through this. We've been waiting for this Galileo update to come out. So, um, are you on your way in? Oh, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Well, cause then we can chit chat about, um, the new tree that's in your talents. Uh, you'll find it under adventuring. Um, it's on the right-hand side. It's called uh, fishing now. And I've taken a couple, but I didn't go all the way down the tree. Um, I personally went into habitation tools a lot more. Like huge. Uh, I went into habitation tools because I uh, do a lot of the farming in this. Um, so you'll notice the new bench, it's the, uh, the, it's called the basic fishing bench. Uh, there is no advanced fishing bench for right now that I know of. Um, in this playthrough, we have everything. So I looked it up. I could not find it. Um, right and left side, just like the alteration bench, uh, right side's really easy. Uh, this is where you take all of your types of fish that are in the game <laughs> and you just move them over to here and they get filleted. That's it. That's, uh... Pretty much what that side of the, the bench does. Now on the left-hand side, this is where you make lures. Uh, you'll notice I stocked it up because I don't, I did not know what we wanted to make for lures and whatnot, but I wanted to have them all. And so I went and crafted a bunch. Now I'm, I'm going to base them under three categories. I'm going to call it neutral, saltwater, and freshwater. Uh, a neutral lure, and a good example is this black wolf lure. In other words, you'll notice that it is not beholden to either being saltwater or freshwater. And then most of the other ones are plus 20% caught freshwater fish quality. Now, why would you use a saltwater in a freshwater? Why would you use a freshwater in a saltwater? And so that's why I'm putting them in three categories. Um, each one of these... Um, has its own bonuses and I'm not going to go through it. It's, that would take me forever. And I could come up with, you know, the best of the blah, 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 blah. Another way to think of these lures is the simple, um, up to the much more difficult, much more advanced, much more intricate, such as needing platinum weave, which will mean that you will need, um, to have, the advanced textiles bench, which is where you make the platinum weave, because you cannot get platinum weave out of a textiles bench. You need the advanced, or of course the electronic. Okay, but that's one way to think of the fishing lures as well. Uh, in this example, I have them all, but I mean it's pretty easy to get gorse flowers. It's pretty easy to get tree sap, iron nails, a little bit harder. I mean you got to get the uh, you got to get the, the ore together, you got to smelt the ore, and then you got to put it into the anvil to make the iron nails. So 
I mean, as you go along, these are going to get a little bit more difficult. But the road, to me, I I thought they were mostly um, pretty basic, uh, pretty basic ingredients until you get into, like I said, the platinum weave would be a little bit more difficult. Um, poison sacks, if you don't go farming some poison sacks, you're not going to get any of those. And black wolf tooth. Um, that's going to be a pretty hard find. Um, we have 19 of it because we killed a black wolf. What did we kill that black wolf for? That was one of the missions, wasn't it? One yeah. of the little uh, simple three missions? Gave us yeah, a black wolf. Yeah, I think wolf. it was. Yeah, it gave us a black wolf. Uh, Scorpion Tails was the other one. And you notice that these are two neutrals. Um, um, a gold lure, pretty easy to make. Another neutral. Um, and then we get into the fresh waters. Okay, salt waters, fresh water, salt water, uh, salt water. So a lot of the bonuses have to do with the um, category of the fish, let's call it that, whether it's an uncommon, a common, or a rare. Um, let's look at a sunset jack. The quality is 80%. The length of it is 753 millimeters. So that's 70 percent. And then the weight of it was 8.86 kilograms. So that was 88%. It's not a bad fish, you know, an 80 some odd percent fish. Uh, I know I got a good, oh yeah, I put it over the fireplace. 95, 187. I thought this was pretty cool. So I put it over top of the fireplace. Um, as you get higher up in quality, higher up in, you know, it, it just makes it bigger. Uh, more spectacular. Uh, looks better. Looks better on a, on a mounting board. And um, if we go upstairs, I made the uh, aquarium up here. Uh, the nice big one. Uh, I put one of the geode lights, the copper geode lamp, and I faced it towards it so that it lights it up. You'll notice it's it's not bad. I mean, it's got lights on the top of it, obviously. But I thought a little extra light in the bottom kind of you know gives it a little whatever. Um, the downloadable content. Um, I purchased it. Uh, it was seven bucks. I didn't mind. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, I was I was believe it or not not um, not arguing. Um, uh, happy to. Um, Icarus has brought uh, me a lot of gaming time, and when a game brings me lots of gaming time, I don't mind uh, doing a little merch, doing a little, I mean, satisfactory. I have the uh, the coffee mugs, <laughs> so and I've you know Factorio T-shirts. I've, I've grabbed a few things along the way, so I don't mind. Um, I thought it was well priced. It's not out of this world, and the pictures you get from it are quite spectacular. Actually, um, there's a lot of choice in the pictures. Um, I put a couple of geode lamps, cluster lamps, beside our beds. You know, um, I, I thought the uh, the framework was pretty cool on the pictures. Uh, can you see the pictures that are on the walls yeah, of the house? Yeah, I was looking at them. We'll see. Okay, so you can see those pictures. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. My Hang wife on. did not purchase the downloadable content as yet i didn't want her to because i didn't i was wondering whether she needed to so i have the downloadable content she does not so that still means that she can see it you didn't turn on your recording did you oh yeah don't worry about it not for this for this one don't worry about it um so she can see the geos she can see the 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 stuff um but she doesn't need the downloadable content to be able to see it so um, just, a, just a note for everybody, if you're playing multiplayer, uh, only one person needs to have it, and then you can just be the one that crafts everything. What's up, hon? How do I craft my... Um... Your fishing rod? Yeah, so nothing comes up. Okay. So in the um, junk box here, you will find a refined fishing rod. Junk box? Yeah, up front here. I've labeled it the junk box. In there, you'll find a fishing rod. Now, before you go fishing, we better go through your talents. Also, over here, though, when I was in here, uh -huh. when you make your bait, not your bait, your... Um, your lure? Lure. How do you... 
I don't have any recipes. Okay, so this is why we're going to go through. Oh, right. I see. <laughs> okay, so yeah, go to your tech tree first and grab everything. Now, I tried when I was uh, under the character select screen, I tried to get all of the. I couldn't click on any one of them, they were all locked up for me. It was a really weird thing. I thought I could put in new tech in the character select screen. Obviously, I can't. Go to a tier two, hun. No. Oh. Tech tree, Whoops. tier two. Oh, right. We are both very tired, folks. Uh, we've both come back from uh, pretty long days at work, but we wanted to get this out. So we're going to do um, uh, basically from beginning to end. I'm just going to, you know, um, do a bit of an intro like I usually do. And then. Uh, uh, we're going to go through this live, kind of, I guess, because I'm not going to edit anything because I do not in the mood. And I'm just going to plug this out as a video, and I, I hope the channel, uh, I hope you guys all like it. Yeah, see, so you notice how yours are locked? See that G, those two? Right, that's the geode set, and it says it needs, if you put your mouse cursor over the lock part of it, yeah, it needs DLC, uh, Interior Decorations Pack. Gotcha. And like I said, the, I mean, for us, we're Canadian. It was seven bucks. I think it might have hit eight with tax. I I was fine with it. I've I've spent more. And Icarus hasn't asked me for anything, and all of its updates and all of its stuff. It hasn't asked me for anything so far, so I'm I'm good with it. I thought it was well priced. Thank you, devs. Um, it's not needed for the game at all. It's uh, it's a vanity item like any other game that offers vanity items. That's yeah, just the aquariums, but you might as well get them, hon. You That's might as what well. I'm figuring. Yeah, I got you might as well get them points. all. You still got 400 and however many points. Okay, well, yeah. so go to your talents. Uh, talent. All righty. So the new is under adventure. Everything else is the same. Nothing else has changed across the rest of your talents. So under fishing... I personally don't think the angler's technique is a good one. Yeah. I, I just, I, I don't. I the same. I, I don't think it's all that special. And now, before we start this, do you want points in another tree somewhere else? Well, I actually already did. So yeah, I know. You did the one. Yeah. I, under, I think it's habitation. Mm -hmm. And you put it under for the stamina. Yeah. Which you just didn't get because you ran out of points last time we were. Yeah. So... Okay, no problem. Um, they reorganized them, by the way, Okay, because exploration and husbandry. Husbandry used to be on the right-hand side. Um, so they reorganized where things are. But now, natural angler, absolutely. Um, it increases the size of the capture area when fishing. This is, I do believe... This is the gray bar that goes back and forth on the mini game. This is your capture zone size. Okay. Uh, efficient fisher, honey. Negative uh, 30% wear rate of lures while fishing. I bumped that to three. Okay, so I should get this then. That natural angler for sure. If you're going to do any fishing at all. This is most, more, more for the channel. If you're going to do any fishing at all, you want that maxed, 20%. Now, the durability of a lure, okay, which, well, I mean. I guess I better put all three. That, to me, at the same thing. You yeah. want that maxed. Now, going to either side, um, length of fish and weight of fish. Anything past this kind of. Uh, I, I hate to put it, I, I can't think of a better word, I'm too tired. It almost goes to vanity after this. Meaning that the length of the fish and the weight of the fish, they're going to make the difference on the amount of fillets you're getting out of your fish, hun. Okay, but remember I was showing you the trap? And did you look in the deep freeze? No. Okay, well we've already got 75 fillets. And I did that with one singular trap. I was going to show the channel that in a minute. Um, I made a trap and then I made two fishing rods. I went out fishing. I had a little bit of fun with it. Um, 
I was so tired that I, d- I did not want to record any of it. Sorry. I, I just didn't. Um, but I want to just goof around with it, which is what I did. And then um, I decided to put these talents in. Um, I decided to go more with uh, myself, Habitation Tools. Um, if you've ever seen my tree before, I went huge on the, on the Habitation Tools. So, because I'm, well, I, I do all the pickaxing in this between myself and my wife. So, I also know that my wife is, is huge on fishing. So, you might want to put one point in each side, hun. Now, the three off to the side, okay, to me are not needed. Three off to the side? Okay, so there's three off to the side that are not really connected. To oh, the calmer the main. waters. Okay, so speed. now just to explain this though, the reduced fish speed while fishing. Okay, when in the mini game, when the fish moves up and down that bar, calmer waters is the only one that I would put points in. Okay, 25 physical resistance while fishing. Um, okay, if you're in nasty territory, you're going to want physical resistance while you're fishing. Because something's going to walk up behind you and swat you in the head. Okay. Nice day for fishing, ain't it? Exposure resistance. Well, that's if you're being affected by a storm. So to me, the bottom two are not needed. Fish foo and nice day for fishing, ain't it? Not needed. But that calmer waters hunt, I would, if you're going to put a lot of points in fishing, I would actually put two points in that. Now, I don't think you can unlock it yet. Nope. Uh, I think you need more points. So go down and put, that's a big one and hefty catch. Or do you got both of those already? Okay. So you are forced to go to Fisher's Hall. I think it's a total waste, but you're forced to get it. And it's only one point, right? So then on either side of that, I think those, these two are both a waste as well. But, um, after those two, you'll look down, you'll get freshest catch. And saltiest catch. Uh, I, I kind of wonder about these two. Um, 5% caught saltwater fish quality? Eh. Uh, uh, him ha, him ha. And then the golden zone. Um, 30% capture zone size. So, like I said, this has to do with the capture area. Um, if, if I am correct... Okay, because I, I didn't find an anatomy um, when I looked at the update and I looked at all of the stuff and the notes and everything else. Um, so I'm going on a hunch here, on a feeling that we want to get you down to golden zone. I don't know whether we can, though, because you only got What's four points zone? left. Yeah, it won't let me. Okay, but we can't get down there. No. Okay, so we can get down there, though. And here's the thing. So you're not going to put any points in steady breathing, and you're not going to put any points in one with water, because that's just water consumption and oxygen consumption. After those is 5% fish quality. 5% is not a lot. Really, it's not. So then there is, I I think you should go with one point in uh, pescatarian. The buffs from food containing fish are increased. One point there, and then go down, and then put probably all three points there. Okay. Now, the bottom two, uh, yeah, I I mean, they're nice, no arguments. Um, It gives you... um, It gives you a better chance to find... On on the left-hand side, it's the big game fisher. 10% chance to find rare fish, unique fish. That would be nice, but... I put one in there. Oh. Okay, hang on. Now scroll back up. And calmer waters. You still can't put a point in calmer waters. Where's calmer waters? It's up on the left. See it? Oh, yeah. And what? Oh, because there's a line. I see it now. Oh. You would have to have angler's technique to get one in calmer waters. Okay, go down, go down, and uh, did you put one in big game fisher? Um, I put it in the big game, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking you want to put another point there. 
Okay. Yeah, I like that idea. Actually. Yeah, yeah, better than the medium game stuff on the other side. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, it's if you had the points, ten percent chance to catch on common. Yay! Negative two percent chance or negative five to catch a common fish. In other words, you got less chance to ca- catch common fish. Okay. Great, but if I'm gonna go, if you with the amount of points you had, yeah, I think the left hand, left hand side was better. That's what I was thinking. Okay, yeah, we're all good. done. Talents. Uh, I hope that helped the channel out a little bit as we went through my wife's talents. Um, I think we're down to fishing, hun. I need a tackle box too, do I not? Okay, I, well, I got lots of tackle boxes oh, down there. Believe it or not, there. Well, make yourself a kind of lure uh, try any one of them really um, anything that says fresh water I've caught salt, salt water yeah don't do salt water um. just do fresh water Uh, because of where we are in um, in basically the land of Icarus right now, we're, uh, well, I mean, anybody who's, who's followed the series knows exactly where we are. We're sitting in the Riverlands, you know, basically in fresh water. So I do have some other lures down there, hun, though, hun, just so you know. Uh, mounting a fish is a very, very simple. Um so a lot of this stuff got added to the carpentry bench. Um, the fishing trophy mount is in the carpentry bench. The paintings are in the carpentry bench. Um, you need to make the paints out of either the material processor or oops, uh, the mortar and pestle. And you'll find those recipes. It's just standard Icarus stuff, tea, gorse flour, coffee, cocoa, lilies, you know, some pretty standard ingredients. Nothing uh, nothing to break the bank or nothing to, you know, whatever. Um, the frames are made either of wood or of a metal or, you know, iron, gold, you know, it's pretty simple stuff. Fiber, uh, I think, is a mainstay amongst all of them. Charcoal, uh, pretty simple stuff to make. Um, I made four different lures. Four different lures? Cool. Uh, I can't think. The geodes. Okay. Uh, the geodes are made in the masonry bench. Um, pretty standard ingredients, once again. Some gold ore, some copper ore. You know, and, and they're pretty simple. Um, I got one sitting on a table over here. Uh, basically, you just uh, turn it on, turn it off. They they're, They are their own light source. Uh, which is why I put a couple up in the bedroom. Okay, uh, let's go to bed. And then we'll get up tomorrow and go fishing early. Oh, there's <laughs> the aquarium. Yeah. Cool. Wash your hands, come to bed. Oh, I forgot about the wash. Uh-huh. Wash your hands, come to bed. Oh, where's my... And I left a bunch of these fish mounts open for you. See, here's geos at the side of the bed. You can turn them on. They're like... I don't know lamps, like bed lamps. I don't know. They're look. They look cool. Uh, I put a couple of them around the house, as well as a couple of pictures all over the place. Uh, I am gonna start fleshing this um, build out. Uh, I'm thinking of putting walls up top instead of having that open view now, and this way we can put uh, mount. You know, um, mount heads. Can't think. Too tired. Can't think. Okay. So, let's go fishing, hun. Just a sec. I gotta eat. I just realized I was starving. <laughs> same. There same, same. Go. Now, I do not have the fish finder on me. Um, I can't get it. I, I bought it in the workshop there, but I can't get it to me. Um, I'd have to bring another character onto this world and then, you know, like shoot it over to my wife. So I, I built, um, if you look at previous, um, which one calls of this build, this just led down to a stairway where we were able to go fishing the old fashioned way, which you can still do. 
if I were to jump in the water, I'm not going to, and go pull out my knife or pull out a bow, you can still fish and you will get fish chunks. Okay. Now we're going to go back and I'm going to show you food while my wife sits and has some fun fishing. Do I need to have a tackle box on me? No, because you can just use these tackle boxes. Yeah, but I don't use them. I take. Well, I mean, you can take one of these if you want so that you have a tackle box. Absolutely for sure. All right. Um, but I have these here just to use. Okay. And it, some of them have some lures in them. Some oh, them that's are. the trap. Yes, and then the trap is over here. Oh, look at all the fish in it. Yep. So the trap, I, you can put a, a lure in it, which I did. Um, and then you empty it. And I'm going to throw out the garbage, keep this. Um, and it just sits. And it, I mean, to me, this is my personal opinion. This is for food, the fishing trap. I have one of them. I didn't even make a regular one. Okay. And this is how many fish I, I caught just logging in, logging out. Um, we have an overabundance of fish. Okay. Now, I was smart, and inside my fishing hut, I put a deep freeze. <laughs> yes. Okay, because when you catch a fish, you're going to put it in your deep freeze. 79%, 75, 69. None of these are anything special. 95, I'm going to leave that one. 83, 87, 48, 52. Uh, basically, anything over 90% will hang it in the house, hon. Over what? 90%. Oh, like the sunset trout. Yeah. That one's going to get hung in the house. Okay. So how do you put a lure on? Okay. There's two ways to put a lure on your, your fishing rod. Uh, one way is to equip the fishing rod, have it in your hand, press the R key... And just like ammo in the um, gun or bow, you can choose between the different lures that you have sitting in your inventory. Okay. Now, you can mouse over while it's in your inventory or on your hot bar, and you'll notice that it says lure 60% on mine. I have a gold ore uh, on my rod already, and then I have a, a fairly spent fiber lure also sitting in my inventory. I got to go get rid of these fish. But left click, hold it at a, at a bit of an angle if you want. The more of an angle you hold it at, the farther the lure will go, and you just cast it out. Now, that will bob for a bit, and then it will turn yellow. Now, you can press your left mouse button anywhere on the screen, and you will activate or you will uh, start the mini game. I'm contemplating whether if you click on the lure, like on the little circle, whether it makes a difference. I don't think it does. Okay. And then it's simple as left click to keep it over top of the fish. Left clicking will move the uh, area, or the bar over to the right. Letting go of the mouse button will, will just make it move over to the left. So it'll say the quality of the fish. As you can see, I'm catching a 96% fish. Ooh. Yay, ember trout. Nice. Yeah, 96%. Okay, and that's it. Then you right-click. That'll put it in your inventory. And then that's it. I've emptied out your deep freeze. Pretty much. You don't have to stand behind the handrail, but it'll just make sure you don't fall in. And i got to make another handrail. Just so... It's in the water, then what? Okay, wait for it to go yellow. It'll bob up and down. Yeah. Wait for it to go yellow. And then, as soon as it goes yellow, it'll go up and down and up and down like it is. Okay. Sorry, everybody, I'm watching my wife's screen right now. When it turns yellow, what? Yeah, left click. Then the mini minute, left click. Now the mini game starts. Oh. Now left click to put that gray bar. Oops. Oh, uh, that's Shit. click. <laughs> Oops. So, I oh, was supposed to what? You were just j never right click when you're in the mini game. I'm getting that. Okay. Left click, to left click and hold, and move your mouse up. Otherwise, well, okay, you'll cast really short. No big deal. Wait for it to bob. Wait for it to turn yellow. Then the mini game's gonna start. What do you do when the mini game? Okay. So all you do is left click. When you depress the mouse button, that gray bar will move to the right. When you let go of the mouse button, the gray bar will move to the left. 
Okay, so left click. Now, left click. Okay, whoa, whoa. Keep it over top of the fish. I'm not sure how you do that. Left click, go. I'm not getting it. Okay, no problem. Do it again. This took me a couple of times to figure out. But what you're trying to do is keep the gray area over top of the fish. So I'm going to cast out. Why don't you look at my screen? Just I'm in right the click. Of mine. Right click. There you go. So watch my screen. So it's bobbing. I'm waiting. Why is your start flashing red? Because I'm overloaded. I've got too many fish on me. I got 200 kilograms of fish on me. And they're all going bad. I got to, okay, left click now. I left click, left on, left, left, okay, let like, go, oh, left, left. I'm kind of clicking, I'm kind of clicking. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to keep that gray bar over top of the fish. Ta da! So you have to click, click, click on. Click, 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 oh. click, 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 on, off, on, off, on, off. Okay, that's what I wasn't. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go head upstairs real quick. I'm going to flay all this garbage. Mm -hmm. i got to put a light down there, too. So we got some light. And do I have a good one on me? Or did I leave it down there? I left it down there. Oh, no, it's ember trout. And that is how you mount. Wow. 96, 100, 100. Woohoo! Okay, hang on. I got a better place for that one. That's going over top of our mantle upstairs. Uh -oh. There. Wow. Okay, that's quite the fish. Ember Jack. And I got three really good fish inside here. So to load an aquarium, the smaller aquariums are the same. Um, the very first aquarium that you can make is a biofuel aquarium. Um, be careful. If you do not supply either the biofuel, the water, or the power to this aquarium, those fish will start to die. Plain and simple. They will start to die. Oh, finally. I got it. <laughs> it's an interesting little mini game, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. But it's okay, not impossible. Well, yeah, I need practice, obviously. So now you can just drag that over or left, you know, control left click like anything else. 86. Yeah. And then right oh. click and that'll, no, 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 no. Get out of there. Just right click. That'll get it out of your hand. Because otherwise, even though you put it into the deep freeze, it still sits in your hand for some reason. <laughs> the the animation of that fish sitting in your hand still stays there until you right click or recast or, you know, like until you do something else. It's a little weird, but it's all good. And then um, this is how you fillet. You bring your catch. Um, I, I personally have made a kind of in my own mind and I've, my wife's not going to argue with me of course but anything over 90 percent i'm going to mount and then we will get down to um, um the better the fish and all the rest of that so these fish you'll notice that they're losing i got 104 seconds on all of them okay so i'm going to load them all into here all i'm doing is control left clicking that's it that's it that's all not a not a big huge, and then this will just continue to um, fillet your fish. The uh, amount of fillets you get is dependent upon the quality, the size, and the weight, and that's that's it. That's the end of end of that. I can't think of much else to. There's not much else to it, everybody. I mean, really, it's just um, you of course want better fish and all the rest of that. But to me, food, 
This is so easy to get. I mean, that's another 50 fillets. Uh, we already have... Uh-oh. Power's out. Uh-oh. 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 I wasn't paying attention to the generator, hen. Foolish me. Oh. You're getting some crappy quality ones. Wow. I didn't notice our deep freeze went down, hon. Uh-oh. Yeah, power went out. So, I made a couple of things. Um, bummer. Sorry, I had to get over the, the loss of food. But as you'll see, I, I mean, we've got 125 fish fillets in here. It's really not that hard. Uh, you, personally... Um, this is my own opinion, and I'm going to stick to it. Rod fishing is for sport. Uh, fish traps are for food. So, um, at the end, because this, of course, has everything in it, um, I can't, and I'm not going to, like, make a potbelly stove to show you what's available in the potbelly stove. So, fish pie. Um, I like it. It's uh, decent. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. This is really good um, experience and really good stam regen. And then, of course, 225 max health. Now, I've already done a, uh, and maybe I'll put a link to it, um, I've already done a, a food guide, and I'm going to have to expand that food guide to involve and include all of the fish stuff that's now out. Okay, because there's uh, basically four fish foods. Now, the fish chunk stew... If you were to dive in the water and you uh, um, take your knife and you go kill fish the old-fashioned way, the way we used to fish, the way we've been fishing, you'll now get fish chunks. Uh, I do believe this is the first one you're able to get, the fish chunks do, and you're able to make that in... Uh, I'm going to go with the potbelly stove. Remember, I've got the electric stove, so I, I can't go back... And I'm not, sorry, I'm not going to, uh, well, I'm not going to make a pot belly stove just so I can prove which one you can and can't uh, build it in. Um, I'll go back into when I do the, when I expand upon my food guide. I'm losing it here. <laughs> uh, when I go back to my food guide, I will have the individual stoves and everything up. And I'll do it there. Um, but I'm going to go with the fish pie is made in the stove. The oven, sorry, not the stove. That'd be the biofuel oven. Um, probably the fish fillet is the same because you need bread dough for it. Um, just like you need the pastry for the fish pie. Okay, so I'm thinking the fish pie and the uh, crumbled saltwater fillet, both of those are going to be made in, at the very least, the biofuel stove or the biofuel oven. Okay, at the very least. Meanwhile, the filet is going to probably, I'm thinking because it's animal fat, uh, I'm thinking that's probably going to be the potbelly stove. Um, just to, to give you the different tiers as to where these can be made. Uh, whereas the fish chunk stew, uh, I'm thinking that's going to be tier one, but then it should be able to be made in here if it is. Nope. So just grilled saltwater fish and grilled fresh water. Oh, come on. Yeah. Hmm. Fried fish chunks. That'll be right from the beginning of the game. So they've changed fish. It used to give you more health. They cut back on it, hon. Which one? Remember how we used to use fish because it gave you 30 health when consumed? Yeah. Okay. Only gives 15 now. Oh. 
But, yeah, same thing with the fresh water and salt water. It's all 15 health. So they've taken that away. That kind of sucks. Well, the, the six meats that I went through before in my previous food guide, um, yeah, it's all still 30 health. But they took away the fish. They, re they redid the fish. Well, that's not very nice. Oh, well. Hey, whatever. Huh. Okay. Um... Where was I? Just scatterbrained here. The kitchen bench, which um, is the same other than they give you pickled freshwater filet. And saltwater sashimi. Um, so you get, uh, basically, you get some um, sushi, <laughs> basically. Uh, it's not bad. And this should be able to be, I'm going to think tier two. I should be able to make this fairly, fairly quick. Um, yeah. Okay. So the cooking station, because we still have one, uh, you're able to make the sashimi in the cooking station, which will cost you, what was it? Uh, saltwater fish filet and carrot. Mixed berries, avocado, cream. So nothing else. You cannot make fish into raw meat and then into animal fat. It does not go. Uh, strawberry jam, pickled avocado, mixed berries, stuffed. Yup. And nothing changes. So it's just the, um, the addition of the pickled freshwater filet uh, will be added when you get the kitchen bench. Not you know not necessarily the marble one. You will when you get the marble when you get the kitchen bench, which is tier three. Um, you'll be able to make the the pickled fish. Yeah, and I'm thinking the curry and the fillet. That's all kitchen bench. That'll be. That should be pot belly. That might be pot belly. Fish chunk, fish fillet, and saltwater fillet. Yeah, because you need the bread dough, so that's still going to be tier three. Anyway, I'm going to cover that a little more extensively in a when I update my um, food guide, because I said I was going to update it when this happened. And so I will update that. Um, I think that pretty much covers just about everything. Hun, how are you doing with your fishing? No, not too bad. I'm getting better. Okay, so you're catching on? Oh, yeah. i got to make another handrail. You're not having any problems fishing over the handrail? No. So, um, pretty much... Uh, Go to a body of water, put a lure on your fishing rod uh, using the R key. You can also, alternatively, you can go to the uh, alteration bench, by the way, and you can alter your fishing rod that way. Maybe I'll show you that real quick. Uh, it's no different than putting anything else in the uh, alteration bench. But it's basically kind of a, a click on, click off situation with the fish. Um, if at any point in time you don't want to catch this fish, you just right click. And that'll cancel the, you can see the, the two commands down below. Uh, alteration bench real quick. And then I think we're done, hun. Oh. We're going to continue to fish for a while, of course. Um, uh, alteration bench. So... Under the alteration side, I could not see anything in here of these attachments and these modifiers and these stop. Well, basically these attachments. I could not find anything in here that added to a fishing rod. Not one, not a single one. But you can take your fishing rod and you can put it in here. And then you add the lure. Okay. And then you press the alter button. Now, I'm not going to unalter my my fishing rod. I'm not going to do that. But 
Just because you, oops, I guess I should take my fishing rod back. Okay. When you have a lure on your fishing rod, you can push the, and hold the R key. Okay. Remember I had a fiber lure in my inventory? Right. So now I've switched it out. So you can switch your lures. You're not destroying anything. You can switch your lures back and forth. You just push and hold the R key. Now, if you really want to go to the alteration bench, you go right ahead, but you do not need it. It is not a needed bench. You don't need to. It, you don't need it. Um, you can load it just like you would ammunition in a bow. Plain and simple. I really got to get another handrail for this. So, I guess that's the fishing guide. I'm going to sit back and finish my coffee and relax and the long day at work and uh, then get busy at editing this which I hope won't take me very long um, but anyways um, if you like the video press like subscribe all that fun stuff um, I hope you enjoy our, our series that we're doing on our open world and I'm just going to make this part of that open world because I don't see a sense in making a separate fishing guide um, this is really not that difficult once you pick up on the mini game and keeping the little gray box over top of the fish, uh, it really isn't that hard. My wife is still having fun with it. But she's picking up. Come on, honey. Woohoo! There we go. <laughs> Now, I do suggest, I'm going to put a light in here, of course, but I do suggest having a deep freeze right here. Now, I should go over the tackle box. So, let's get an empty one. I'm going to go uh, take care of my garden. Okay. So, let's put a tackle box in our hand. So, if you're going to go off fishing, um, I would strongly suggest you make a tackle box. Okay. And have it sitting in your inventory. Uh, when you get to your destination, you take your tackle box and you, you know, basically like anybody else, we put our tackle boxes on the ground. You can put a lure in it and you can put a fish in it and it'll hold two fish. Now you'll notice it says will not spoil. So it's almost as good as the um, deep freeze that way. Meaning that anything you put inside the um, fishing box, you can then... Pick that fish, that tackle box up with your X key. And it even, when you mouse over it, will tell you. Contains a lure and two fish. And it will hold three lures. This is, uh, this is nice. Because you can, like I said, to me, you want food, use a fishing trap. Okay? Let's seriously, use a fishing trap. The amount of fish you get is so much, you will be overwhelmed fairly quickly with fish so your fishing rod is more for trophy fishing at least that's the way i'm going to call it i'm not going to change my mind on it um so when you go to a new area having only two spots really that's actually enough um you're going to want to keep your best two fish that you caught that day take two tackle boxes with you your best four fish you caught that day you can take, with two tackle boxes, you can take six lures, come back with four uh, fish, and just in the time that we've been fishing, I started at 60% on my gold lure. And somewhere in here I have another lure. I don't think I used it. And that one was at 20%, the fiber lure that I have sitting in there. So... Still use the same control key click. So I would keep a, a tackle box on you. I mean, there's lots of uh, inventory space in this game with which to uh, hold your stuff, hold your lures, um, hold what you want, put it down, load it, put stuff in, grab stuff out, do what you need to do. And then, like I said, pick up the tackle box and go. Um, drop one of these on your animal. The tackle boxes are so easy to make, you could have multitudes of them sitting around. R literally. Yeah, it wouldn't be a big deal. Um, and like I said, 85 and 70. 
uh, making fillets is as simple as just dumping it in the right hand side the fillet side and you don't even have to do anything once the fish goes in it just starts to fillet it and that's it and then store your that's it until the cook of the the, the group or yourself cooks it into one of the three or four I, I personally think the fish pie but um, you're gonna need saltwater fish fillets for that uh, it is a nice food um, I, I don't think it I don't know I don't know I'm uh, I, I'm, I'm if you watch my food guide I, you know I'm not a fan of single just maximum health but there's uh, that 30 stam regen that's just nice I mean that's got 15 that's got 30 health regen uh, that's got 15 so this one at 30 that's good stam regen I mean it's not like taking a potion but still that's pretty nice um, but yeah you can uh, keep your tackle box with you have it down with your stuff that you carry with you all the time and uh, yeah well rod goes with you okay so uh, now I really am going to end this here uh, you guys have a good night and uh, thanks for joining us <laughs>